Hi everyone, my name is Brad McCauley, the head of technology here at Clark Road. Unfortunately, we can't come for the tours, but we've put together some videos to have a virtual tour so that you can see all the different areas that we offer here at Clark Road. I really hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you can email any of the teachers that you see in the videos or the front office and we will answer any questions that you have. So have fun. If you have any questions, let us know and we hope that you come and try out the road. Thank you. construction, manufacturing, and contact. Uh, what you would do here in the uh, transportation is we would take a part and put together a small Briggs and Stratton engine. So we totally disassemble it, reassemble it, and when you're finished, we bring them out to the shop floor uh, to run the engines. In grade 10, uh, you would do uh, modules within the classroom that are related to what we would do out here in the shop. So you would work on uh, disc brake components and engines and vehicles that we have in the classroom all set up. Uh, in grade 11 and 12, uh, you then can come out to the shop floor here and we would do customer related vehicles and we do a number of different tasks as far as doing brake jobs, uh, radiators, suspension components, exhaust, uh, tires. Uh, normally do a lot of servicing when it comes to uh, oil changes and stuff like that as well. But it certainly is the senior groups that are able to work on what we call live cars. Uh, we did also have the opportunity, uh, in behind me you'll see a, uh, a red 71 Chevelle. We were able to do that or build that from basically the ground up. So we did put an engine in it and we do have an auto body program that we did paint that car as well. So I think the kids got probably uh, you know, a little bit more out of something like that than they would just uh, a regular car anyways. Basically in grade 11 and 12, it, it's kind of their stepping stone uh, to get prepared to if they wish to pursue automotive as a career. It certainly does help if uh, in grade 12 you were from here to take a co-op and then go out to the workplace and earn a little bit of experience as well. Hey, I'm Mr. Club. Welcome to Clark Road Manufacturing. Manufacturing gears with uh, welding and machining, a lot of industrial applications. We are a very hands-on, project-based, fun course. We deal with welding, machining, into the trades like millwrights, uh, welders, tool and die, general machinists, uh, maintenance, a lot of good jobs in the industrial sector. If you want a lot of action, a lot of fun, uh, this is the course to take. All our projects are, are really fun, but uh, in grade 11 we do a project that incorporates all the uh, all the welding skills. We do stick welding, tape welding, MIG welding, brazing, we use the torch, we use the plasma cutter, all in one project. So grade 11 is the most in-depth project where you get a taste of everything, but from grade 9 to grade 12, all the projects are, are pretty fun and there's a lot of student choice uh, what they can do in, in designing their own projects and, and making things more fun for them. It relates directly to the workforce because uh, we're learning industrial applications that relate into apprenticeships. Uh, a lot of my ex-students have come back and said the theory that we teach them in high school is the exact same theory they're learning in college. We've had people come out uh, into, straight into apprenticeships. Uh, they went to Siemens. We've, I've had a couple of guys go into underwater welding, which is a big thing, and make lots of money. I placed a lot of guys in our old tool and roll, businesses off from Southwest Ontario. Hello everyone, welcome to Green Industries at, here at Clark Road. My name is Mr. Nethercott, I teach Green Industries here. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about what Green Industries is. So Green Industries kind of covers five main areas and we touch base on all of them here at Clark Road. So horticulture, agriculture, floristry, 
forestry, and landscape design. I know it's kind of a lot, but we go through each one throughout the semester and we talk about everything you'll need to know about those industries. Around Christmas time, we stop doing a lot of the paperwork and we start doing more Christmas crafts. <laughs> so we have big sales here at Clark Road where everyone in the class, I'll let make as many projects as they want and I take one or two of them, we take them off to a sale and see what other people would think of them. Another option that people seem to really love, we work here at the greenhouse every day. When you're done your lesson for the day, I send you off with your team to go to different areas of the school to work on those flower beds, gardens, I've had students trimming trees before, anything that we need to do to maintain our green space here at Clark Road. Every area of green industries we go through the basics of it so you'll have basic understanding of any career path you would like to take in any of those five areas i mentioned so we go through basics of machinery and work done in agriculture we go through the intricacies of modern greenhouses and horticulture floristry we talk about work that you'll be doing in the floristry industry and making arrangements in forestry we talk about natural resources that we have here in Canada. We go through a large unit on animals. And when we get into our landscape design units, you'll be designing your own landscapes. You can go right into a landscaping career if you'd like. And you'll also be doing the work around the building so you get to really experience what a landscape designer and landscaper would be doing. Welcome to the electrical classroom. In here you're in the structure room. This is where our grade 11 do all their residential wiring. They learn different ways of controlling electricity using three-way switches, using split receptacles. Basically any type of wiring that they'd be doing in a, in a residential application is done in here throughout the semester. We also then provide a, a grade 12 course that is more on commercial and industrial. There's no prerequisite to the grade 11, meaning you don't have to take any other course. Anyone can sign up for it but you have to have the grade 11 to take the grade 12. Probably the most fun project that they're gonna do throughout the semester. We partner up and we get a broken printer and between the two partners, they have to come up thinking outside the box, how can they build a race car? There's 12 volt motors inside that printer and we uh, set up a track and at the end of the two week project, we end up having a race. Out of this, if, if the students really enjoy this, there's apprenticeship opportunities. A lot of our students go to pull off electrical and co-op ends up being a little bit of a proving ground if you prove your work. A lot of students and past students have been offered uh, apprenticeships. So it's a, an opportunity to get right into the workforce, getting paid while you're being educated and getting into an incredible trade. Hi there, my name is Ms. Melchers and welcome to my classroom. Are you considering a career in healthcare or maybe you're unsure where your path will lead after high school? Well, Clark Road offers healthcare in grade 10, 11 and 12 but you could get a head start and sign up for it in grade nine. This presentation only highlights some of the skills that we learn. So stop in for a visit and check it out. I hope someday to see you in my classroom. This section is broadcasting and communications technology. Two very different things, but also in the communications field. So on the broadcasting side of things, we do the announcements. Every morning we record them and we broadcast them to the entire school. We do lots of fun projects in broadcasting. It's a very hands-on class, but I think one of the most fun is taking a trailer for a movie and then changing the style of that movie. For example, taking Home Alone and turning it into a horror movie. does look like a little workplace because we're doing a lot of the same activities that would happen in a regular TV station. We produce a TV show every single day. We produce commercials and graphics and news stories just like in a real TV station, just on a smaller scale. 
In the communication side of things, that's stuff like photography and Photoshop and video editing and audio editing. It's very media focused. It's a fun course to get into if you're interested in going into something media or if you're just interested in technology and being creative at the same time. We are a very hands-on class here in Comtech. So whether it's photography or video or audio, we do a lot of things hands-on. So we do a lot of fun projects. One that stands out in particular is the face swap where you have a picture of your face and a picture of other people's faces and you're swapping out features. So you might have someone else's eyes or someone else's lips. I think it becomes like a workplace because of the technology that we have. We have a very good lab here in communications technology with industry leading software. So Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe InDesign. These are programs that are used by industry pros every single day. Okay, this is our wood shop here. So we have a couple, a few different courses here. We have the grade nine rotation where we build a small project that changes from time to time. It's been a gumball machine uh, lately. The grade tens build the end cabinets. And then once we take woodworking in grade 11 and in grade 12, we actually design our own projects as students and then build whatever they would like to. We go from Andorondack chairs all the way up to desks, beds, poker tables. We've done a lot of things. It's really up to the students' um, capability at that point in time. So they come up with the plans, they come up with what they want to do. It's real life because it ends up being something that's going to fit in the house. So they need to measure and make sure that it'll actually fit and design that if something is rather large, you're going to have to be able to get it into your house. So realistically, it's the entire semester. It's what you're building. And obviously, you're getting hands-on experience. You're able to use all the tools that we have here. It's a, a, a large, really large shop. We have duplicates of every single tool, so we don't have the long lines of people having to wait to be able to use a planer when we've got two of them, two joiners, two table saws, everything. So it gives them the, the basic skills to be able to go into a wood shop, work safely, and understand the components of a machine and what, uh, what ends up happening when we do put wood into that machine and get the best results out of that. Technological design or tech design is a great class to take if you're interested in a career in construction or manufacturing or design. We do everything from two-dimensional drawings to three-dimensional drawings on special software to building 3D models to discussing home design and industrial design. It's a hands-on class so we do lots of fun projects but one that seems to be a favorite of the students is the cardboard chairs. So we make chairs exclusively out of cardboard. So no glue, no nails, no screws, no adhesive, just cardboard. It's a lot of fun. Because we design such a variety of things, it really does look like a workplace. So whether we're designing parts for tools or an apartment layout or landscape design, it has a real world feel. Also, we use industry leading software like AutoCAD and SolidWorks right from day one to give students a taste of what it's like to design in 3D. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Hospitality and Tourism. My name is Chef McNamara. This is Chef Helen. Hello. I teach cooking, a little bit of baking. Chef Helen teaches baking and a little bit of cooking. Chef Helen's just going to go over kind of what we do in here. We do lots of things right from scratch. Bake and cook. So today, for example, we're working on something called uh, Pork Wellington. We've made all the puff pastry, we've made all, cooked all the meat, we've made all the accoutrements that go with it. We do caterings for industry when we're not in COVID. We do lots of really cool stuff for students in the school and lots of take home meals for the teachers. So we're constantly busy, always, always busy in there working with food. Uh, we very rarely sit at a desk and uh, that's the, the fun of this program. I think. We do also run an SHSM program, which gives you the opportunity to get some extra skills and some certifications along the way and go on some field trips. Jeff Mack will do a demo. For example, he'll do a demo on how to make holiday sauce and how to poach an egg. And then I'll do a demo on how to make an English muffin. And then they have to they, they have to go and they have to make eggs benedict. And present it to us at the end of class. At so the end of class. That's what I, the feedback we've gotten from, from students, I think, is that's the one maybe the, they like. Yeah, they love the challenges. And also, uh, we like eating eggs benedict. I would say that because we run a live shop where we're actually cooking for people who will really eat our food, basically shows you what a commercial house commercial kitchens right. We're expected just like a regular kitchen. We have expectations that are very high for our quality of our food. So we both worked in industry for many, many years. We really try to, um, to give as much of a real world experience as we possibly can in here. And that's why we do so many caterings normally when we're not in COVID. Lots of catering, lots of opportunity for students to experience what it might be like in industry. Welcome to Clark Rose Cosmetology Program. My name is Miss Collins. Cosmetology is a combination of hairstyling and aesthetic skills. Some of the hair techniques we learn are braids, roller sets, bow dryers, flat iron style, updos, 
Hair cutting and some color. The aesthetics portion of the program, we learn about manicures, nail art, DIYs, makeup, henna, and body art. We also explore creative special effects makeup. In addition to learning how to do the services, we also learn the science and chemistry related to hair, skin, and nails. My students have had the most fun doing their fantasy character creation. So students get to research, sketch, and design their own fantasy character, which then they have to develop on a mannequin. They have a lot of fun, they get to use lots of crafts, and it's open to any ideas. Hairstyling and aesthetics class relates to the workplace because we prepare students to enter the workforce. We learn and practice customer service skills that can be used in any retail or service industry. We also focus on infection control practices that can be transferred to any workplace. And we also practice the do's and don'ts of how to be professional. In this course, we also focus on health, well-being, and life skills, like time management, stress management, along with how to be a good team player. Even if your interests do not lie in cosmetology, the content of the course can be used daily in life, at home, school, and work.